in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and nothing that was made was ever made without him him who the word but i believe you lord for what i hold on to is your word i say lord as you created in the beginning i also take your word i believe it and i speak it and i act according to it it's like a double edged sword it pierces through bone and marrow and it always overcomes because why the substance the essence the guarantor the one who owns his word it is god himself Wow, right, 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 right. Hi guys. Uh this is Rivani. I'm your teacher. Welcome back. It's it's been quite a while. We hope you enjoyed your festive season. We hope you made the best of it. Uh welcome back. Uh, this is 2024. A year of God, a year with God, a year to win with God, a year to use all the tools that God has planned and purposed for our lives. Um I pray that the Lord increase you more and more. I pray that he prosper you in all of your ways. More than anything I pray that that which your heart desires, that which you've been praying for, that which you've been trusting and believing God for, it comes to life. I don't know God's time. I don't know when God does it, but I know one thing for sure that he is still faithful, that he watches over his word and he always performs his word. I want to remind you that in your life in 2024 why don't you dare to reign to rule and to dominate in all areas of your life because that's what God essentially has in plan and in store for you so let's make the best out of it and um while we start off let's start off with the winning formula for the year let us start off with in it to win it because at the end of the day we are not losers but we are winners in the lord we are here to reign to rule and to dominate in all areas of our lives so we are in 2024 to win it and we've got just a word special powerful power packed just what god has planned and prepared for you today one thing i can tell you it's relevant it is spot on and it is going to address that which god has planned and purposed for your life and without wasting time I remind you the ministry is headed by senior pastor Budeli. He heads amongst other institution Palace of Mercy Children Care Center and Abanen Grace Tabernacle. Again, if you're wondering why the background looks like this, yes, we're still at I Designer Studios. It's 2024. We are leveling up as usual. We just make sure we're getting better and better and better. And please do make sure you like, you share and you subscribe and if you know somebody in your network that's not subscribed come on search up subscribe it's time to do thousands now and we 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 are done with the hundreds let's elevate the god kind of way quickly we'll get uh, into a word of prayer and straight into the word remember in it to win it rather get your bible now because after prayer we're going straight into it let's pray Thank you Father. For you and your word you are one. You have no shadow of turning. Lord, you watch over your word to perform it. We say Lord, while we start here today, starting in your word, starting Father as you've planned and purposed for our lives. We trust and believe that Father, yes indeed we are in it to win it in 2024 to win it. Winning in all areas of our lives. Winning Father without worrying about the next person because there's enough trophies for everyone the crown of life there is enough trophies lord from a spiritual point of view there is plenty there is sufficient for all of us and we say father while we do 2024 there is no greediness but we know one thing for sure you are the god of abundance in jesus mighty name lord we pray amen straight to it like we say we in it to win it nothing else in it to win it and how do we win it we win it in line with what the scripture say and we're going to quickly open a few scriptures 
4 to be precise, Joshua chapter 1 verses 8, uh, actually 3, Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11 to 13, and Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. We will start off in Joshua chapter 1 verses 8. Do pay particular attention to this one. It goes, this book of the law, which book? The word of God shall not depart from your mouth. What does that essentially mean? The word of God is for speaking. If the word is not to depart from your mouth, the word is always constantly being in your mouth. And when something is in your mouth, if it is words, it is speaking the word. You ought to speak the word always. It says, but you shall meditate in it day and night. Having it in your mouth, speaking it day and night, thinking about what God says about you, being mindful of the business of God, being invested in what God actually says about you. He says that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. We are saying in the year to win it. And while we are winning in the year, we are winning in the word. Winning in the sense that we hear the word, we speak the word, and we do the word. Because we know that the word of God is like a double-edged sword. It pierces through bone and marrow. Wherever you send that word, it will devour. Wherever you send that word, it will unpack. It will fulfill that which it's sent out for. Why? Because this word, while we're in 2024, to win 2024, the word shall never ever return void. It is uncharacteristic. It is unnatural for the word to return void. Hence, we take the word and send it to all our situations. Hence, we take the word and we say, Father, as you written in your word, you say, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. I believe and I speak your word always. I meditate in your word day and night. And you say, again, Father, over and above the believing, the speaking, the meditation, I act like it. It says that, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. When you observe according to do, it says further that, for then you make your ways prosperous and then you have good success. What does this mean for the year? You don't need to go by prosperity, no success. You don't need to pay somebody for it. You don't need some sprinkles of anointing oil. You don't need holy water. You need the word of God. Why? Because with the word of God, it says it, for when you are in the word, doing according to the word, you yourself, you make your own ways prosperous. And when you have prosperity by your own ways, by your own doing, in line with the word, it says that then you shall have good success. Your mind is probably wandering around. But then, prosperity, success, it all has to do with you. Sometimes... Wrong interpretation brings about issues in the sense that you are waiting on God, praying and trusting God for things that he has already given to you. He has already made available your prosperity, your good success. It is available and accessible through and in the word. What do you do? You observe to do according to all that is written in the word. And then you yourself in acting in the word, in doing the word, you make your own ways prosperous. And then you have good success. You're probably asking, how do I do this? How do I do this word? How do I make my own ways prosperous? How do I have good success? You take the word, you believe the word, you speak the word. What kind of word would it be? You'd ask yourself. It says, probably in Genesis our common illustration. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And nothing that was made was ever made without Him, Him who the Word. That is John 1. Then, John Genesis 1, 3, And God said, Let there be light. In your 24, being in it to win it, let you speak. Let you go out and imitate God as His beloved, dearly beloved children, and say, In my 2024, what I trust, what I believe you, Lord, for, what I hold on to is your word. I say, Lord, as you created in the beginning, I also take your word, I believe it, and I speak it, and I act according to it, 
And I know that, Lord, when I do that, I have good success. It's that simple. Nobody is in the way of your success. If anybody is in the way of their own success, it's probably themselves. No witch, no sangoma, no pastor, no apostle, nobody is in your way. You have to speak the word of God. If ever it looks like there is obstacles, you speak the word of God. They will flee. Why? We did say the word of God is powerful. It's like a double-edged sword. It pierces through bone and marrow and it always overcomes. Because why? The substance, the essence, the guarantor, the one who owns his word, it is God himself. Okay. Again, remember, the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You always speak the word in character, out of character, in season, out of season, in good times, in tough times. We speak the word of God always. Why? Because God always hears his word. He always does his word. How he does it, we do not know. But we know one thing for sure. He's always invested in his word to make sure it's done. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11 is our next scripture. So what we will do, we'll quickly make an affirmation and we'll move on to the next one. Affirmation time, please repeat with me. Thank you, Father, for this book of the law. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Your word, my God, is like fire in my bones. I hear your word. I meditate in your word. I speak your word day and night. And I observe to do according to all that is written in it. And I know that way I make my ways prosperous and I have good success. Hence I say this boldly, that I'm not moved by what I see. I move what I see by what I believe. And I believe that your plans for my life, for my year, for my 2024, they are fulfilled in Christ. It is yes and amen. Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13, as we said, you get it, place it to show on screen. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. We make our own plans. The Bible says plans without counsel they fail. But whereby when there is nobody in the planning process, when there is no guidance, there is no assistance, but when there is God in the planning process, in it with you to the very end, we know the plans like that they do succeed. Apart from that, you having your own plans doesn't mean God doesn't have plans for you. It is a reminder here in Jeremiah 29, 11, that for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans of welfare, plans of peace and not of evil, to give you hope and a future. Maybe things have not been working out the way you intended. Maybe things seem broken down. Let this be a reminder, a comfort, or a guide towards God that you be reminded and reignited and you be realigned to the plans and purpose, to the will of God for your life, that um, thoughts of peace and not of evil God has for you. While you are in 2024 to win it, always remember that though your plans may fail, God's plans, they never fail. Because he watches over his word. He performs his word. Though your plans may fail, you must remember one thing. For the word of God says that uh, 
I will do for you a thing that no eye has seen, no ear has heard. Let that be a reminder. While you meditate in it day and night, be reminded that uh, God is saying that I will do for you a thing exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can think or imagine, even above your highest hopes and dreams. While you wait and trust in the Lord, it says that be mindful of God's business. In as far as um, wait says that um, you seek God and you find God when you search and seek him with all your heart. Let you not be invested in seeking after things that you miss God when you're seeking after things. Whereby when you seek after God, the things will follow you because they are interested and are probably attracted to the God in you. Prioritize right. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and the rest will be added upon. The essence here is simple. We try and make plans. We try and seek after things. With seeking after possession, seeking after validation, seeking after acceptance. Not for 24. Seek after God with all your heart. And it says when you seek him that way, then you will find him. What is occupying your time and space with God? What is hindering all of that? Would you be interested in taking or heed to what God says? Say that mind my business and I will mind yours. Seek him. And seek him with all your heart. And then you will find him. Those who search, they find. Those who seek, they find. Those who knock, the door will be open for them. Let's do it that way for 24. And it says that um, when you call upon me and go pray to me, I will listen to you. Call upon the Lord in times of trouble, in times of distress, in times of joy, in times of good times, at all times, call upon him. He is always there for you. He says when you pray to him, when you are observant, while you are doing according to his word, he will listen to you. He always listens. He's not a deaf God. Okay, affirmation time, and then we move to the last one. You repeat with me. I thank you, Father, for I know you think of me. I know you are mindful of me. I know that you have thoughts of peace and evil and not evil for my life to give me hope and a future. I know that, Father, when I call upon you, when I pray to you, you listen to me and I know that, Father, when I seek you, I will find you. When I search for you with all my heart, Lord. Thank you for everything that pertains to my life. It is set. It is well. It is done in Christ. Hence, I say in my life, I reign, I rule, and I dominate. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6, last one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. In the good times, in the tough times. When things are going extremely well. When you don't even need to trust in God at that time. Because sometimes we feel we don't need God when things are going extremely well. In all of that it says also trust in the Lord with all your heart. In the chaos, in the troubles, in the complexity, trust in God with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. Your understanding might be limited because it is limited insofar as knowledge is concerned. Human beings have a limited span, but God is all-knowing. God is mindful of you in all areas. And it continues to say that in all your ways acknowledge him. For you are not of your own anymore. You are the Lord's property. And whatever goes well for you, you might think is your own ability. It's not you. It is God. Always be reminded of that. And he says that while you do all of this, God himself shall direct your paths. Trust in the Lord when things are haywire. 
trust in the Lord when things are impossible. Because the word does say that nothing is impossible with God. It says that lean not on your own understanding. You might be deceived by your own mind. You might be deceived by your own heart. Hence, you need to trust in God at all times. While you progress in the year, when things are going well, when things are going absolutely fantastic and great, always remember God. Always remember that uh, in Him, He ought to be acknowledged at all times. For we live for Him, we are dead to self and alive in Him, and He shall direct your paths. And you know the best part when God directs your path, you have good success. You prosper in all your ways. Everything always goes well because it's not about you. It's about God. Always. Let us uh, for today wrap it up here and probably pick it up uh, from here. And our final affirmation, please, you repeat with me. Lord, as I start 2024, with two weeks gone, I know I'm never too late. And I say, Lord, I trust you with all my heart, leaning not on my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge you. I know that, Father, I am where I am. I've conquered. I've been through everything, not because of my own ability, but because of you, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you always, my Lord, direct my paths. I am thankful that, Father, in you, I have good success. In you, Lord, I reign in all areas of my life. I am thankful that, Father, I am not moved by what I see. I move what I see by what I believe. I believe in your word. I believe you are good. I believe you are faithful. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I pray. Amen, 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 amen. This is it. Let's uh, pick this up. Remember, in it to win it. Nothing else but to win. And who is our guarantor? It's God himself. Let's pick this up again next week. Remember, we are talking about being in the year, to win the year, to win in all areas of our lives, and doing it the God kind of way. Doing it with God. Have yourself a blessed week. Further, remember, God loves you. He is mindful of you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And in all your ways, acknowledge Him. And then, go back to the Word. It is well. This is Ribwani. I am your teacher, signing out from iDesigner Studios. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>